Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Morning Edge, episode 94. Happy Saturday with my man, We Beat the Spread, bringing in our big gun for the UFC card today. But first, we are going to welcome everyone to join this awesome giveaway that Odds Checker US is doing, the PS5 giveaway. This is our third PS5 that we've given away already in the last three months, so make sure you guys are entering. All you have to do is like this video, comment, and then most importantly, subscribe to the Odds Checker US YouTube channel. Literally takes two seconds, so if you're watching this video, make sure you do it. If you've already uh, entered this, you can enter all month. You get multiple entries, so make sure to continue to like, make sure to continue to comment and subscribe. Let us know what pick you're on today, if you're talent, if you're fading, what you're doing with your Saturday. Uh, ben, how are we doing? What are we looking at for today? You know, honestly, you said you can tailor fade, and I wouldn't be surprised if you did fade. Uh, <laughs> we did horrible on UFC last week. Um, but you know what? It's Saturday again. It's a new week. So I'm going to be taking Brogan Walker here. This is the ultimate fighter finale for the woman, uh, for the women's here. And Miller just doesn't impress me that much. She's a grappler. She basically only grapples on the feet. I think she's going to be heavily outclassed here in this fight. Um, and you know, she's a good grappler on the ground, but I don't know if she can actually take Walker down. Walker shows some pretty good takedown defense and, uh, Walker has actually fought a much better resume. Miller is three and one and her opponent's records in those four fights are 0 and 2, 0 and 2, 3 and 1 and 5 and 5. So she's been fighting a lot of just cans basically. And Walker has a, a, a significant advantage in um, experience here. She's fought Miranda Maverick, who's in the UFC. She's fought Pro Gonzalez, who was in the UFC. Um, even though she went 0 and 2, she made it there. And then she actually fought Aaron Blanchfield, who's actually 3 and 0 in the UFC. And, um, you know, Walker actually beat her and she looks like a budding prospect in the UFC. So she has a really good resume on her uh, hands here. And I think that she's going to be the better fighter on the feet. And I think she can stop those takedowns. Uh, and Cash is the slight underdog. So that's going to be my first play. My second play is going to be Sergey Spivak inside the distance. He is just, you know, he's a phenomenal grappler. He's actually, you don't see a ton of heavyweights that usually wrestle, but uh, Spivak loves to wrestle. And I think he's going to use that to his advantage tonight. Um, to kind of, you know, get Sakai a little worn down and uh, finish him by ground and pound. That's what Spivak does a lot. He loves to wrestle and just kind of wear his opponents down because at heavyweight, their gas tanks aren't usually the best. And Sakai, you know, he's been shown to have a little bit of gas tank issue, but you can't blame him. These guys are like 265 pounds, probably 280 on fight night. So, I mean, you can't really blame him, but Sakai loves to use those leg kicks. And I think that's actually his downfall because against a wrestler, you know, he can use those kicks against him to use that as a takedown. So I think mm -hmm. we're going to see a great fight from Spivak. You know, he's a, he's a budding prospect. He's still super young, actually, for a heavyweight. He's only 27 right now. He entered the UFC when he was 24. He's had an impressive run. His only losses recently are to, like, Tom Aspinall, who's been on a crazy run, and then Tai Tuivasa, who's actually about to fight Sirogan. So a uh, really good resume on his shoulders, and I think he's going to get a nice uh, win here tonight inside the distance. Uh, he has six subs and six knockouts. So I don't really like taking knockout or all right, guys, and then I'm going to go uh, back to the diamond today. Uh, just one pick on this slate. I'm going to have a few articles out, a few UFC as well as MLB. But for the video play, I'm going to go with the Yankees. So they're coming off of a couple losses now. Uh, got beat up against Seattle for back-to-back -back games. Last night was a disappointing loss. They had the lead uh, with two outs in the eighth inning, and then Paul DeYoung hit a double to give the Cardinals the lead. They ultimately closed it out. Uh, in the ninth, this is just a team that doesn't lose, you know, three, four games in a row often. And now getting the value here today, I I'm going to have to take a shot. Uh, me and Ben were talking a little bit about this game before. The Yankees have only been underdogs eight times this season. Uh, they're four and four in those games. So it is very rare that you're going to see the Yankees as an underdog. I think you have to take advantage when you get this chance. Now, funny enough, they're facing former Yankee, uh, Jordan Montgomery, who gets the ball for the Cardinals. They hit uh, lefties a little bit better average-wise this season. And this is a guy who they know in and out, right? They know his tendencies. They know his weaknesses. He played on the team the entire season. So nobody in the league is going to have a better scouting report on Jordan Montgomery than the Yankees. I mean, they know everything about this guy. The catchers know everything about this guy. Watch out for that tonight. I think the, uh, the Yankees can get to him early in this game. Uh, and then Domingo Herman's getting the ball for the Yanks. He got beat up in his first start against Houston. He went uh, three innings, giving up five runs. His last two starts against pretty good offenses in the Mets and Mariners. He's only given up two runs. He'll be solid. I mean, he's not going to go out there and throw, you know, seven scoreless innings, but if he can give them five innings of two to three runs, I think that'll be good enough uh, today. So I do trust that Herman can get it done for the Yankees uh, in this spot today. So I'm going to take the value shot there. 
on the Yanks. Ben's got a couple UFC plays. Go crazy. It's a Saturday. Throw a little parlay in on all of them uh, and Definitely. see what we come out with. Uh, and then we will uh, we'll recap this one tomorrow. So make sure, once again, guys, you are entering this awesome giveaway that Odds Checker US is doing. Like this video, comment. Most importantly, subscribe to the Odds Checker US YouTube channel. And then you are entered this last the entire month of August. So get as many entries. I don't know if there's 30 days in August or 31. I think 31. So make sure to keep entering 31 times. Like every day. Comment every day. We appreciate everybody who's always showing love. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Ben, thanks for hopping on. Yep. Thanks for having me. Good luck today, guys.